Carol Wartiga was one of the most influential leaders of the Catholic Church in modern times. He contributed to the collapse of communism, first in his own country of Poland and later in the Soviet Union. He was Pope for 27 years and traveled to 129 countries and led events and masses attended by hundreds of millions of people. Although he was almost shot dead in 1981, he recovered and went on to lead the church for another 24 years. During that time, he met world leaders, leaders of other faiths, and did much to promote interfaith dialogue. As a theologian, he wrote a number of books, and later, as Pope John Paul II, he oversaw the production of the Catholic Catechism and wrote 14 papal letters, among them Veritatis Splendor. He also had great personal charm, spoke nine languages, and canonized 482 people as saints during his time as Pope. Just to take a brief look back at his youth and childhood, uh, Car he was born Carl Wotigo on the 18th of May, 1920. He came from a small town, Waterwise, where his father worked as an army officer and his mother was a school teacher. His early life was full of tragedy, however. His mother died in 1929 when Carl was just eight years old. His older brother, named Edmund, was a doctor in the local hospital. However, he contracted scarlet fever in the hospital where he worked and died three years later. In 1938, Carl left a small town and went, to the, went with his father to the city of Krakow, where he attended the university, began to study linguistics and philosophy. However, the following year, Hitler invaded Poland and the Nazis closed the university. In 1941, just when he was 21 years of age, Carl's father died, leaving him all in all in the world with his country occupied by the Nazis. He witnessed some horrendous scenes whereby his Jewish friends were loaded onto the backs of lorries for deportation to Germany. Carl himself took a job in the local stone quarry in order to avoid being deported. He also worked as an actor and playwright However, he gradually moved towards the study of theology and decided to become a priest after he had a conversation with the Archbishop of Krakow in 1942. He was ordained a priest in 1946 and then went to Rome for two years to do a doctorate in theology. He studied St. John of the Cross as part of his PhD thesis. He returned to Poland two years later in 1948 and went to work as a priest in the village of Nigowick, about 15 miles from Krakow. He also lectured in theology at the local University of Lubin, and by 1958, Karl was named as an auxiliary bishop of Krakow by Pope Pius XII. He was a very energetic local leader who led charity groups and spirituality youth groups. In the following decade, he developed a reputation as a poet, a playwright, and a theologian, and wrote an influential book in 1960 called Love and Responsibility. From October 1962, Carl took part in the Second Vatican Council, which went on on a part-time basis for three years until 65. He developed a reputation during this time as a leading spokesman. However, the papers submitted by the Polish delegation were not actually part of the final 16 documents. However, after the, in 1964, uh, uh, Wotigo was appointed Archbishop of Krakow, and three years later, in 1967, at the age of 47, he became a cardinal. During these years, he showed tremendous courage and wisdom in his leadership of the Catholic Church against the Communist Party in Poland. Pope Paul VI died on the 6th of August, 1978. He had been Pope for 15 years since 1963. The conclave to select a new Pope was held on the 25th of August, and Pope Paul I was elected. However, he died just 33 days later. A second conclave in October was uh, selected John Paul II, mainly because the Italian delegation was divided into two camps. And he took John Paul II as a tribute to the Pope that died just a week, a week earlier. So John Paul II became the first Polish Pope in history. One of his first foreign visits was to his home country of Poland, where he was an inspirational figure in the development of the Solidarity Movement there, which eventually led to the collapse of communism. In Ireland also, he attended a youth meeting in Galway, 
where he was an inspirational figure and told the young people there, I love you. Over the following decade, he did many trips and world tours all over in very many different countries. And in 1993, he led a World Youth Day in Denver, Colorado, which was attended by over 700,000 young people from all over the world. He enjoyed the scenery over the Rocky Mountains and in total, he actually traveled to 129 countries and met hundreds of millions of people and emphasized the gospel message wherever he went. In a more diplomatic capacity, John Paul II also aimed to improve relationship with other faiths. He was involved in interfaith dialogue with Muslims, Jews, and other le and leaders of the Eastern Orthodox Church. He frequently apologized for the mistakes of the, path of the Catholic Church in past times, in especially in relation to the Jewish community. As Pope, he oversaw the production of a comprehensive book known as the Catechism of the Catholic Church, which was large, largely closely supervised by Joseph Ratzinger, which was eventually completed in 1992. This catechism has multiple references to the Bible and Church Fathers and is primarily a guide to the Catholic Church, but is also used by other Christian faiths. The following year, 1993, the Pope wrote uh, an important document, Verata Splendor, or A Beacon of Truth. Pope John Paul II put a lot of work into this document, and on the 8th of August 1993, it was, it was published. It addresses the role of conscience and moral truth. It emphasizes the crucial role of moral truth and rejects the idea that Truth is a relative or subjective matter that anyone can decide for themselves. It argues strongly that there are universal moral principles that transcend cultural and historical contexts, and as such principles are rooted in human nature as human beings made in the image of God. Unfortunately, this latter was largely ignored, which has led to much of the chaos in the modern world. Jean Paul believed that the biggest danger in the modern world is the threat created by atheism or relativism. These ideologies re reject moral truth and promote freedom as the ultimate value. However, such freedom, which ignores morality, often leads to a false sense of freedom and enslavement, he says. Veratis Splendor also says that everyone has access to natural law through moral reasoning and their conscience. He also quotes Jesus from the Gospel where he says, you must know the truth and the truth will set you free, which obliges people to inform their conscience where possible. At a higher level, John Paul refers to the rich young man in the Gospel who says he already keeps the commandments. Jesus tells him in order to be perfect, he must sell everything he has and follow him, which can be seen as a call to the religious life. John Paul himself became a priest in 1946 and remained dedicated to the church till his death in 2005. In 2011, he was beatified by Pope Benedict XVI and was canonized as a saint by Pope Francis three years later on the 24th of April, 2014.